Southeast manufacturers converge on Onicha and brainstorm an alliance with government for massive production. It was a homecoming for all industrialists in the Southeast geopolitical zone as they converged on the commercial city of Onicha and embraced it to brainstorm on how to partner with both the federal government and the Southeast governors to boost local production of goods and services in the country. Among the notable industrialists that attended the one-day ceremony talked, Southeast manufacturers, stakeholders firm included Chikasen Group, Market Leaders, Poco Bro Group, Ibeto Group and representative of each of the five eastern states. High points of the event included the signing of a memorandum of understanding MOU between Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, Southeast, Mansa and Small and Medium Enterprises Development Agency of Nigeria, SMIDA. Addressing the participants at Man Eliasson Office in Onicha, venue of the event, Lady Adia Chuku Dozi, Chairman of Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, Southeast Chapter, urged the federal and state government to provide investment incentives for manufacturers to enhance production and boost economy. The Chibu Dezi noted that such incentives would ensure ease of doing business for manufacturers as well as help them easily access funds and raw materials to enhance their productivity. At the event with the theme Access to Finance and Cheaper Funding for Small Medium Enterprises in Nigeria, which also had several notable players at the manufacturing sector in attendance, Lady Chibu Dezi therefore urged the federal government to subsidize cost of raw materials for manufacturers and prefer solutions to their challenges, especially electricity. She said, and I quote, There is a need for government at all levels to empower and manufacturers, as this will enhance the country's economic growth. It will also ensure stability of the Naira. Nigerians need hope. Having listened to all the speakers of the forum, especially the Director General, Small and Medium Enterprises Development Agency in Nigeria, Smidan, Charles Odi, I am lifted in the spirit, and I am very hopeful that there is hope for Nigeria. It is always difficult to stagger things, but with time, it will take its roots and become very fruitful. They have signed several MOUs with Anambra and Enugu State Government. Enugu State Government to dole out 1 billion naira to support businesses with a view to expand their capital base, but that is just a pilot scheme. The money will be given to organized private sector trying to formalize the informal sector to register with either the Chambers of Commerce, Trade and Investment, or register with MAN to be able to access the funds. She also commended the Anambra State Governor, Prof. Chuku Masoludu, for providing 1 million seedlings to different households instead of giving them cash. So instead of the governor giving out cash to people, he gave out 1 million seedlings to each household. These seedlings are economic crops. Automatically, these households have been econ economically empowered for life. Therefore, manufacturers should as well receive incentives from the government so that they would produce more goods. And if they produce more, they create wealth jobs and the economy will be abundant and influence the naira to appreciate against the dollar. She found out urged Nigerians to prioritize agriculture and grow a garden of food crops rather than flowers. In a speech, the Anambra State Commissioner for Industry, Christian Udechiko, said the state government had made funds available to support small and medium-scale enterprises. Udechiko noted that the major aim of the forum was for manufacturers to know where and how to access these funds. He called on both the manufacturers and traders to live by example and follow the footsteps as the state government is committed to building access roads to enhance the establishment. Earlier in the keynote address, the DG Smidan Charles Udi said they intend to partner with MAN on their one product, one local government initiative, where each local government will be trained on at least one product manufacturing. He assured that the agency will rule out interventions to aid access to fund to finance. On her part, the former Minister of Compliance, head of ATG Mansa Digital Initiative of Afri Exim Bank, Mrs. Maureen Umba, said that the objective of Mansa platform is to facilitate smooth boarding of customers and businesses relationship, to reduce operational workload and cost of compliance to enable African financial institutions to cooperate and small-medium enterprises to meet customers and business partners' expectations 
while ensuring regulatory compliance to ensure consistency and effectiveness of compliance process amongst others. This is actually a good one. Kudos to them. This is a beautiful, beautiful one. We hope that you know this is not just for mouth. We are not going to hear it and later we are not going to hear anything concerning it again. We hope they go ahead to do it. Now this is the empowerment we are talking about. You understand? This is really it. Okay. This has been many people advocate instead of fighting to secede from Nigeria. No secession is greater than economic freedom. If we have everything going well in our region, then nobody should be reminded of relocating to our region. Last last they'll be begging us to come back. Many people did not even know what happened after the war. Many civilized northerners, who knows the benefits of the Igbos were rejoicing for seeing them back to their regions. But some uninformed still believe that we are there. Lord Lugard in nineteen in the nineteen in the nineteenth century, even before amalgamation took place in addition to his comments to West, East and North said Igbo people are highly industrious and even up till now are even are still ahead of other regions. Government government needs to encourage them where needed. This is good. I suggest that the five South states should open an intervention fund to South East investors to boot the houseboats. It should encourage investors to embark on large scale production of their goods and services. Well, like I said, I hope this is not just you know totally but in tutorials and at the end of the day is you all, all talks and talks with no action i hope they back this you know wonderful wonderful idea with actions so that you know small medium businesses can grow to become medium enterprises and medium medium enterprises will grow to become big businesses you know in a way balancing the economy making the economy better and at the same time uh, what's it called creating wealth and job opportunities as they grow. Hmm? Amalgamation of North and South is the bane of our lackluster performance in terms of development. The South is like a same boat ready to take off and the North is like a bag of cement tied to his waist. How can he win the race? Kudos to our industrialists from Southeast region of Nigeria. The best of your activities are yet to come. By his grace, you guys will take Nigerian and Nigerians to higher places to the envy of the rest of Africa and the universe as a whole. Okay, I know someday we'll get there. My happiness is that our people have refused to give in. They have continued with the industry regardless of all heat and distortions. I am sure if any zone will survive in Nigeria, we must be one of them. No devil can stop us. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We so say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time.